Shani Mweman to Andy, it's your boy, cheers, African appetite. Hope you're blessed, hope you're well, and above all, embracing life. Remember, if you're new to my channel and you're feeling the vibe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Help a brother live to eat, not just to stay alive. We're out here in the capital city, Bangjul. We've taken a day trip. Um, hopefully, we're going to go and see the mosque. We're going to go and see the market. And just generally see um, what Bangjul has to offer. So, yeah, come ride with us. And um, remember, when we're here. We're trying to create a community and trying to help each other grow. So don't forget to hit that little bell icon for all my latest videos, yeah? Bangjul market, here we come. The police and the soldiers, they do parade. Oh, like a parade, yeah? Yes, man. Yes, man. Got, um, yeah, so they, they have to say, they do a parade stadium. for the supporters yeah, to come and do it. Thank you, that's it. Yes, man. You know, this state house is over there. I talk to them. The first name of Banjul was Batos. Batos? Batos, yeah. Batos. So when, when did it change to Banjul? When did they? When did it change to, to Banjul? To Banjul. Oh. In 1965. Oh, okay. That's the it, time that they have their independence. That's the date of the independence. That's it. Man. Okay. All right. Come on, come on, come on. How are you, sir? Yes, man. All right, that's the president's house. So, what's this fish? This is the heaviest fish. This one here, they call it catfish. Catfish, yeah. Yeah, catfish. It's catfish, catfish yes, yeah. Man. Yes, man. Yeah, it's catfish. a good fish. Yeah, it's a very good fish, yeah. So, uh, uh, this one here, I can take back home with me? Yes, man. Yeah? Yes, man. You want it? Huh? Yeah, man, yeah, man. You can take it back home, man. Muna, 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 na muna call it. You good? Yes. Uh, on the last day, we might have to come back again, or maybe yes. on the way back from... Do you pass this side when you go to the airport? No, 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 no. It's a wash, wa you can wash it. Oh, for clothes. washing? For no. washing. This one for taking bath. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. This That's for washing your clothes. We have the same thing by the way. Yes, ma'am. Which one are you eating? Purple this, one. this one? Yeah. Purple. Yeah, purple. So that's the henna, yeah? yeah. Shea butter, yeah? yeah that's the shea butter. Okay. And is it made here in, in, in Gambia, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why we're strong, bro. <laughs> right, so these are good luck beans. They get rid of evil. And all you do is you just put them in your pocket and walk around with them and they give you good luck. Can I, can I so that's a black you? soap? Yeah, this is our original oh, soap. So it's original black soap, yeah? I use it, bro. Yeah? I use it. Okay. <laughs> it's a black soap. <laughs> the man said, I use it. Yeah, it's, yeah, good. I use it's very it. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one, this one, this one. Right. So forget 100. Yeah. 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 I have bigger one. Small one. Okay. So it's not a tuna, it's a black fish. So what do they do? Do they fry this one? Yeah, they cut it and fry them. Oh man. <laughs> Inside is fresh, huh? Yeah? Okay. Cool. Wow. Man, that's a big fish. Now that's a big old fish. These ones barracuda. Wow. Look at the size of the fish. Yeah. Oh. And this one's salt, yeah? Yeah, that's salt. No. Yeah? It's called flour and sugar and butter. Okay, it's called beignet. Beignet, local. Okay, is it for breakfast usually? You can eat any breakfast anytime. You can mix it with tea. Okay. 
What fish is that one? Right, this is what I've got here. I've got my freshly fried fish. Uh, I think it was snapper again. Um, got these little fried dumpling things um, that are local as well. And I've chosen the most scenic place to have it. Have a look at that. So I think I'm going to go in for one of these dumplings first and give them a try. I'll go in for one of them. There you go. Oh man, those are delicious. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, that's nicely freshly fried. It reminds me of a Jamaican festival. Right, so we're gonna go in with the fish. Got to get my angles right here. Um, let's have a look at this fish. Oh, it's hot. I'm gonna break some off. Oh, it's really hot. Have a look at that. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's a fresh snapper. There's, there's not much seasoning. Like I said, there's not much seasoning. You really do get to taste and appreciate the actual freshness of the fish. And it's crispy. And it's fried so crispy that even the tail, I can probably eat that on one all. But, just moist in the middle, but just limited, limited seasoning. Like I was saying about the tail, have a look. Crunch out straight away, but it's such a, such a like a crunchy fish, you can just, most of it you can just eat the head. Mm. Yeah, nothing better than fresh fish by the sea. And there's nice festivals. The quality of this, absolutely delicious. It's getting down to the last bit. Oh man. That's a <laughs> octopus. Octopus. Oh wow. It's a restaurant. Good. watermelon. You want a watermelon? Yeah, I'll have some. How much is that? Ten. Ten dollars. Want watermelon? Watermelon is alright. You want some? Yeah, so we're going to have some watermelon. We've been seeing loads of them whilst I've been here. Surprisingly enough, I haven't eaten any. Well, I did have one, but it was like not a fresh one, I don't think. So yeah, I'm going to give this a try. Ah. Oh yeah. Crisp. Refreshing. Still cold inside as well. That's what you need after all of that. Um, all that fish. Hey, which one is that one? That fish. Hey, my friend, which one's this fish? This one is a. Uh, it's a dry fish. It's a dry fish. Mm -hmm. but, uh, after this one, they cook, cook it with the. Sometimes they cook it with the. Sometimes they cook it with the. Oh, okay. It's very salt, salt. Oh, they, they, it's salty, yeah? Yeah, salt, yeah. They put it salt. Antioxidants. So, very nice. Anything that's colourful like that. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's why you came home again. The same boat. Nothing like this. Coming out of the market now. Yeah, yeah. So why is she cooking them in the sun? Yeah, because uh, like uh, mostly mm -hmm. when, when when it is new, it's different. But when he cook it, it used to be like this. 
Hmm? Yeah, I know that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, why she use the sand? Some people like it. Oh, like and it's it. hot, yeah? It's hot. Oh, okay. No, the man get us a bit of it. Yeah, I need to take one. One of these, yeah? Oh. Mm -hmm. Peanuts, huh? Right, got these peanuts and the unique thing about the peanuts, yeah, I've seen peanuts roasted on the roadside and I've seen them roasted in different ways. Uh, where I come from, we just roast them, like take them out of the skin, and, no, not out of the skin, out of the shell and just roast them. Um, the red peanuts that um, people may call these monkey nuts or whatnot, but what I've never seen is what the lady there was doing. She was actually roasting them in sand over coals. So it'd be interesting if, to see if that, that changes the take, test, the taste and texture. Right, crack one of them open. Yeah, there's a peanut. Oh, those were young peanuts, definitely, because they're crunchy, but they're still a bit, a bit sweet. So oh, I like those. They got lovely with a cold beer. I will tell you that. Right, that's a closer look at them. The inside, so you can see they still look fresh. Although they're roasted on the outside, so very interesting concept that actually roasting them in the um, in the sand. Never seen that, and um, it definitely makes a difference to the texture and the taste. I'm gonna finish off my peanuts. I'm gonna keep walking up. Um, can you get me one and ask? That's mean good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that means good. Yeah, that means good. So these are the traditional oranges, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Natural, nice, nice and fresh. And sweet, yeah. Right, I got my orange. And I got, I got them, to, I got them to cut it. I've seen these everywhere. Don't be alarmed and don't be put off by the green skin i know in europe and the uk that probably means that it's bitter but i've been guaranteed these are some of the freshest and sweetest tasting oranges so we're going to give it a try right you go now or you sit for a while mm. okay yeah they're not sweet they're just refreshing yeah they're just refreshing not sweet at all get married in gambia you use cola now you know this thing when you get when I get married, you, you use this color not to the most. Or when, when like uh, your mother have a baby, newborn baby, uh, for one week, this is what they use to call the elders to do some prayer okay. and give and it to people for the charity. Charity. So it's not for in eating. Morning, in the morning. Yeah. yeah, it's eating. It's eating. It's How do you eat it? Yeah, yeah. You just if you buy it. You right with these ones. Um, I think it's best they're saying to eat it on a full stomach. I've not really eaten that much today, so I'm gonna save it, but I've got one. That one's for cleaning the teeth. I remember that one. And what's this one? This one. Which nut is that one? This one is very nice, very tasty. Make sure you home, I'm eating it now apparently. You eat it now. You eat it now. Oh, okay. What that yum? Yeah, yum, yeah. yum, yum. Mm -hmm. What the yum? Roast? Yeah, it's already cooked. It's, it's already cooked. Salt and Have a look at this, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put it on there. Okay. So I've got some yam here and all it is is being cooked and they just douse it in this um the salty sort of spice mixture so interesting to see how that all tastes right here we go mm. yam's cooked yam's tasty mm, tasty it's got it's a very sweet yam mm. I'm trying to work out what the flavour is, but I can't figure it out. The salty flavour, but 25. But I think it will, it will be better with like a cup of tea or something. No. I said it would have been better with a drink, but I just can't stop eating these. I just cannot stop eating them and yeah, mighty tasty. I like it. Do you know what? Ah, oh, do you know what it would go nice with? The cow foot I had the other day, the cow foot soup I keep getting from Sally's 24. 
it would go excellent with that. Okay, Domino's. Mm. Yeah. You can do like um, Friday Domino's. Mm. But you stay around by the day. Yeah, we're still here, man. Once again, thanks for watching. And remember, if you're feeling the vibe, please like, share and subscribe. Help a brother live to eat, not just to stay alive. I'm here to create a community so we can all grow. So don't forget to hit that bell icon for all my latest videos. There'll be more to come in this Gambia series, so keep it locked in. And remember people, don't eat to live, live to eat. Peace.